Hello folks and welcome back to another review and thoughts on. I decided to check out Wrong Turn series. Well, the first two. Now I've already, I really I've seen all of them, but really the only good, the only t ones that are good are the first two. <laughs> At least to me. I, I know the sequels have people that love them. And trash like the second one, which I don't get why. Like the second one has way more. For one, it's like the first one where it's not downbeat at the freaking ending. Unlike all the other ones where it's either a prequel and everybody dies, which you already know, I guess. But or it's a sequel to a prequel, and then people still die at the end. So I know they want to do a remake or reboot. But, this, like, series, this should have never even been more than just, what, maybe two movies at best? Because at least, it, like, the first one, it leaves, like, if you just cut out the, uh, end credit scene, then you really just need one movie, but... I don't even see how this is a fir uh, the sequel, oh, never mind. Anyway, this first one is, uh, 2003, and it's basically this guy, Chris, named Chris, he's, Chris Redfield, he's trying to get to a destination, and he's late for it, he's in traffic, he decides to take a wrong turn off the map, and he, not paying attention where he's going, he crashes into another vehicle with these other people group of friends and then they decide they're going to try to get help and so two other people two friends stay back for the with the vehicles while the other four leave um i guess this the lead girl eliza deuce eliza Eliza this shoe from Buffy the Vampire Slayer if you know she's in this I don't know I, I thought the movie was alright uh, overall like I thought the gore was fine for what it was I know it was a low budget film but I will say it's pretty good gore like there's a good there's like a good kill scene at the sort of beginning where it's these rock climbers and you don't really get to see what happens to the one girl but like the couple that stay back with the vehicles they die off you don't get to see what happens to the, the guy the girl's girl uh the, the girl's boyfriend but you see her get choked with barbed wire around the mouth so that was a pretty good kill scene it's basically these other four people they're roaming through the woods trying to get help or find a house with a phone really they're trying to get a phone and they stumble upon the uh you know deformed cannibal hillbilly killers and stuff does not end well i will say i like how when they're in the house they're like going through like the house trying well the one girl's trying to find a bathroom <laughs> and the uh lead guy to Chris guy, you learn like he's a, he used to, I guess be, he studied in medical, in the medical field, but um, I don't know, I thought his acting was fine, I thought Elijah's character Jesse was fine, you find out her, about her character where she, her boyfriend decides to leave her, he doesn't want to date her anymore, which I'm like, why, because she's hot, <laughs> but, and apparently that was the plan to uh, her friends decided to take her out for a good time, I guess, or hike together, and so you sort so you sort of find out a little bit about these characters, at least a little bit. Um, also, there's good, again, there's good kill scenes. There's one uh, scene with the one friend of hers uh, that survives. She well, not survives, but when they're in a tree, when they're fling from like a, a, a watchtower they have to jump on these branches which is a pretty intense scene because they have to literally jump from like the window onto these 
branches and hope they don't break no bones or fall. And also they have can three cannibals underneath them trying to get at them, so, you know, but, yeah, her, uh, the character of, I think her name is Carly or Harley, one of them, she dies with, when, like, uh, cannibals, like, right up next to her, because she, she, because they have to cross this branch to get across, and, like, she decides, she decides not to, so then she just stands there, and, like, the, uh, cannibal guy is like right here and he has like an axe so he swings the axe and it cuts her like right here and it cuts this entire the bottom part falls and like the camera pans upward so you'll see like a good up shot or the bottom bottom shot sort of i don't know like the way it was shot i liked i'll say like there's some good camera angles in this even when before they uh they showed a cannibal guy, one of them climbing up the tree. It, it the camera like does this cool, uh, fl uh, moving shot where it pans throughout the uh, trees and and goes where the cannibals are, which I thought was cool. And like you you do get like the character is actually fighting back for a change, like the uh, Chris character he. Um, he gets shot in the leg, in the, or in his ankle, sort of, or calf, and, like, he tries to fix that up later on, or sooner in the film. And, like, the one guy, the, uh, Harley or Carly characters, they were going to be engaged, so I guess, I think, fiance, he dies, because he tries to lead the, character, the uh, cannibals off the other main character, so he sacrifices himself. Which is a pretty intense scene because you don't know if he's going to make it or not because they they pull up like right because they're able to get in the in the uh, in their truck and they drive off and they meet with him but then it's too late because he gets shot with bow and arrows. Um, even when they're sneaking out the uh, cannibal's house, like that was scary because they have to like they're sleeping and then they try to move really slow and quietly and the Chris character holds on to the uh, the door for. Um, spring and it's like cutting I guess his hand because he's like ripping it like really hard and he looks or he looks back at the uh, one of the cannibals and you see he's already awake so he's watching them and then he decides to just bolt just cheese it out of there and instead of them running right after them they decide to get in their truck and they drive off after them so I don't know I like Again, I liked, I do like the look of the, uh, hillbilly cannibal things. You do get a backstory, sort of, with them at, in the end credits, where it shows, like, paper clippings and, of, um, deformity stuff, and, I, I know they have nicknames for them in the sequels, I think, but I cannot, I think one's named Two Finger, Three Finger, <laughs> at least I think. Um, but yeah, I, overall, I like the, I like the first two anyway, and I will probably do the second one since I own, I only own two of them, so I guess I'll own, or, I guess I'll own, I guess I'll review Wrong Turn 2 Dead End, um, which has Henry Rollins, which I'm, it's on right now, but, I will say that's a pretty good movie too, but overall, I do like the ending where, Instead of him going off to, uh, you know, he doesn't leave the lead uh, girl. He decides to go back for her and save her. And then they fight off the hillbillies. Like, he jabs, like, the, I guess the dad cannibal. He, like, stabs him in the chest. He should be dead, but, like, there's, there's times where, like, they should be dead or should not be surviving certain shots to the body and like the one of them got hit with a branch in the face and he falls like 30 20 feet down the uh off the trees and hits his head or body off the ground and he should be dead but he's not he ends up coming back at the end and even that in even when they leave and they blow up the house it's like they were all in there so they should be dead automatically <laughs> just that explosion and then they drive off and they drive back 
to the uh, gas station where the, this old guy there, he's like your typical over the top, uh, well not over the top, but over exaggerated hillbilly with like the one tooth in the front and missing teeth everywhere. And he hides in his gas station because he's like, uh oh, because uh, he I guess he recognizes that truck. I guess he, um, you know, I think he's in the second one actually. I think he's like the old guy that lives out there with them. I think that's the same actor. I could be wrong, but um, yeah. You, overall, they get back to the gas station, and the Chris character takes the map. And they drive off, cause it, I mean, cause at the beginning, the I mean, I guess people can assume this guy does know about what's going on, but at the same time, the Chris character, the gas station guy didn't really say to turn take a, whatever, you know, road or route. He take he technically just let the guy make his own decision and do that. So I can't really put blame. I can't really push blame on the uh, gas station guy, even if he is in on it. But it's like if you do know, you you at least could uh, somewhat more warn him. But I don't know. But yeah, overall I like the ending where it's at least two people live at the end. Um, yeah, I like the characters of Chris. He reminds me because he's like so calm in this movie. Like I guess I don't know if people probably picked on his acting probably why is he so serious he should be showing emotion i bought it as if you know you gotta be clear-minded in that in that moment like where are you going to you you can't be breaking down and you know like the harley or carly character does you gotta be focused you gotta be in survival mode like even the scene where they're hiding underneath the bed which is really scary and intense where they like one of the uh, cannibals drop a bullet on the floor and they're hiding underneath the bed so he grabs the he's almost touching them and then he grabs the bullet and then it ends but I thought that was an intense scene cuz like wow but yeah you get into the sequels I don't know if I'll do the sequels cuz I don't again I don't own them I only own the first two but maybe I'll do a commentary on these movies sometime or I don't know if anybody has any requests for me to do a certain movie or talk about a certain movie or music news or review mu music or something uh, you can request that through my PayPal or Patreon um, but yeah overall Wrong turn, at least the first one. I like, I've liked the first, I like the second one as well, so I will get to the second one once I'm done with uploading this video. But, uh, yeah, over, overall, I like the, uh, again, I like the acting, I like the character, I like the act, I like two of the actors in this anyway. Um, the gore was fine, and one good kill best kill in the movie really it only has one good for me one of the best kills in the movie is the uh girl in the tree um the acting was fine oh so, yeah uh like comment subscribe share um leave your thoughts below of, uh or your comments below of what you thought of uh the first wrong turn movie anyway if you like it, if you don't like parts of it, or put your favorite kill in it, or or do you like the sequels more than the first one? But, yeah, uh, peace and love. Stay safe, and...